This is a story about a transformation. Transformation of a community. Transformation of people's lives and especially mine. My name is Liliana Garcia Davis now, because I just got married not too long ago. If you see the map of Colorado, the southeastern part of the state is always in the brightest colors, meaning we have the high incidence of poverty, one-parent families, obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, chronic conditions. I once was all those statistics. On most days, I get to work about seven, usually the, the first person to arrive. My name is Jay Brook. I'm the executive director of High Plains Community Health Center. High Plains started back in the early 90s. At that time, there wasn't a lot of primary care resources in the area. Like many rural, remote communities in the nation, it's very hard to attract providers. And so the emergency room was used a lot and particularly people that didn't have a lot of money, really just went without health care. Four years after I moved here, I was diagnosed with diabetes, type 2. And the same year that I was diagnosed, my mom passed away with complications of diabetes. To lose your mother, Diabetes in February and then in May to be told you have diabetes. It's just really hard. Since uh, I started coming to High Plains as a patient, I have lost over 30 pounds. My A1C went from 8.3 to 5.9, and it's been staying like that for I think the past four or five years. That means that what I'm doing is working. Pipelines have not only changed my life, but it changed my family's. When Liliana first came to us as a patient, I'm sure uh, High Plains looked much different than it does now. She has transformed with us from a basic medical clinic to a real comprehensive primary care center that, that she's an integral part in terms of the health coaching that she provides. We found out early on that it didn't work to just uh, try and hire as many doctors as we could find. We currently only have three physicians and we're able to provide almost 30,000 visits per year because we use nurse practitioners, we use physician assistants, and we surround our providers with well-trained patient facilitators and the health coaches so that our providers do only the things that nobody else can do. So a health coach is somebody that guides our patients through our healthcare system. We huddle in the mornings and talk about the patients that we see in that day. Health coaches are really an extension of me. They have extra time that I don't, so they can help patients set individual goals. I have a little less stress because I can let the health coach kind of take over at the end of a visit and I can move on and I can know the message that that patient's being given. Remember last time that we met, we talked about carbohydrates. How is that going? Good. It helped a great deal. The reason we are able to change lives and have such a great outcomes is because of our teams. We treat the person as a whole, not as a number or as a chart. 
I'm very proud of my patients. And I always tell my patients, I am so proud of you. I am so proud of what you've done. I kind of pinch myself every day. I come to work and I say, we built that building and we serve 8,000 patients every year. And it's really a good feeling to know that, that you contributed to, uh, to making people a lot healthier. High Plains Clinic says, our family is serving your family. Well, that's true. That's the real thing. And I am so proud of being part of this family.